Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'll be reviewing Sandra by John Renault in the color 12 FS8, also known as Shaded Praline. I purchased Sandra from a friend who purchased it, didn't work for her, and she sold it to me. But you can always find Sandra or any of the other John Renault styles at Wig Studio One. And if you wait until the weekend, there's always a 30% off on John Renault. I do want to take a moment and invite you over to our private Facebook group, Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group where we have over 21,000 members helping and supporting each other every day. It's really a fun group, lots of education, live broadcasts, it, 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 and the members are amazing. We have very knowledgeable members that have been wearing wigs for a long time, and they're always there to help all of the new members. If you're starting a wig journey or if you are a seasoned wig wearer, I hope you come on over and join us. Now, I have to tell you, if I would have purchased Sandra from Wig Studio One, I probably wouldn't have chosen 12 FS8 shaded praline because this is a very golden color, but we are going to try to work with this golden color on me. 12 FS8, we have, this is a warm blonde. If you love warm blondes, 12 FS8 is perfect. The root on it is done beautifully. It's an eight, so we have a medium brown root. Then we have a, lot, a, a nice blend of golden blondes. We have a light natural golden blonde. We have a medium golden blonde. We have a light gold blonde, lots and lots of gold definitely warm and i want to point it out there is absolutely no cool colors here whatsoever i think that john renault did a really nice job with this color for me personally and my skin tone i don't feel it it works that well or may not be as flattering but we're going to try to tone some of that gold down with my dark uh, Batiste dry shampoo. This is dark, and, but you're not, you're going to see, it's not going to turn the wig dark. It's just going to tone down some of the gold, which is really what I need. I think it'll be fun for the summer, but nevertheless, I love the style. Absolutely love it. Now, if you know me, you know, I love wigs with a lace front. Sandra does not have a lace front. This is a hand tied cap, 100%. And then we have a full monofilament top. It's a double mono. Whenever you part it, you will have an impeccable illusion of scalp. So I have it parted on the left. That's where I part all of, well, wigs are parted on the left, so. But you can part it anywhere you want. Just absolutely gorgeous. But as you can see, there is no lace front. With Sandra, you're going to have a bang of five inches. If you wanted to add a bang, that is done so easily. Very, very easily. My forehead is only two and a half inches, so bangs tend to be a little long on me. But if you have a, a wider forehead, you might just need to either not trim it at all or just a very minimal trimming on, on the bang. You could wear it as a side swap. You just, this is not a style if you are someone that likes to wear it totally off the face. It's not going to work. If you have bio hair and it's the same color as the wig, as the Sandra that you're wearing, you could also pull out some of your bio hair to make to blend it in you could do that as well personally i think it is absolutely gorgeous i think john renault did an incredible job now this is an older style i don't know if it's from 2015 or where but it's not talked about i don't feel as if it's talked about enough there are many wearers that don't want that lace front but want the other features such as the hand tied cap and the full mono top I think Sandra works beautiful. The fibers are very soft. They are not dry. We have a nice density here. 
Sandra weighs four ounces, but because it has a hand tied cap, we're not going to have any permatease at all. Not on the top, not on the nape, not on the sides. There's no permatease or there's no permatease that I can feel. And the density, I feel it's very realistic. It's realistic to me. I don't think it's light and I don't think it's overly done. We have a crown of 13 inches, then we have the nape and the sides are nine inches. John Renault hand tied tend to run a little bit on the larger end of average. You will see when I show you the cap, how I've had to cinch it in all the way to the center in order to accommodate my 20, my 21 and a half inch circumference. I, I also, I am also wearing a wig gray. If you have a 22 and a half inch, I think you, I don't think you'll have any problem at all. Maybe, maybe even up to a 23 inch. I just don't have any way of gauging that. I can only go by what I am seeing. And that has probably been the norm for me for any of the John Renault with a hand tied cap. Here is the ear tab. Now, for those of you that know me, know that I have a very low hairline and I have excellent, excellent coverage. Uh, um, coverage. This is almost unheard of for me to have that coverage where almost my entire hairline is covered. And I, I did add some root powder in order to match it with the wig because I will be going out in a little while. How cute is this? Just little pinning up on the side. Do a half up and half down. Just have to be a little careful when we add these claw clips with our hand tied cap that we don't puncture the hand tied. So just be really careful with that. This is a John Renault headband. You can leave it with some hair pulled out or you can, you know, tuck it all depending on what you're most comfortable with. Wear it back in a ponytail. Wear it up in a messy bun. very versatile style. I think it is so, so pretty where it's so many different ways. I guess we don't always need that lace front. Again, this is the Batiste, the dark, um, dark hair. There's the dark divine and the dark hair. They're the same thing. You can find this at your local CVS or Walgreens or Amazon. I think it just gives it a little bit of dimension without actually changing your blonde. So you're not going to turn your golden blonde wigs into a brunette. That's not going to happen. All that's going to happen is that we're going to eliminate the shine which is usually the case with our golden blondes. And we're, we're just going to tone it down, give it some dimension. That's all we're doing. Eliminating the shine and, and toning down some of that gold. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. I hope it is. I could see it. I don't know if you could see it on camera. My lights also will cause the blondes to appear a little brighter. 
than they actually are. Right now, I'm just looking in my mirror and I can see that it's not as shiny, not as gold as it was. So something to keep in mind. There's also the Batiste that is no color at all. And you can certainly use that if you want to eliminate some of that shine. All right, let's take a walk outside so you can see 12 FS8 shaded praline out in the daylight. And then I'll show you the cap and I'll come back. We have an extended nape and I've got the Velcro adjusters all the way to the center plus the wig grip so it will fit properly on my 21 and a half inch circumference. We have felt covered ear tabs. We don't have an ex uh, we don't have a lace front but we have that polyurethane on the front so if you wanted to add some adhesive you can do that the full mono top is very very soft we and it's double so you have an extra layer on here and i think that really helps to give that illusion of scalp plus it's very comfortable if you have total or partial hair loss right in the uh, at the top area. We do have lots and lots of stretch, all hand tied. The nice thing also is that regardless of how the wind is going or you know, if the if the fibers move a, a little bit, you're not going to have any wefts showing. I am a big fan of hand tied caps, as you can tell. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. Let me know what you think about Sandra. Let me know. Let me know if you like these non lace front, but you like the other features of the full mono and the hand tied cap. I'd love to hear from you. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Bye.